Welcome to the Sanders Kitchen. I'm Mike and Pam's behind the camera. Well, we have a great recipe tonight. It's going to be called chicken and mushroom crepes with a bechamel sauce. We're going to get started making the crepes first, but I want everyone to know that everything that we are doing tonight will be in the description. All of the ingredients and the instructions, of course, I always write the instructions, will be in the description right below the video. So let's show you what's in the crepe recipe and we'll get started right now. That over again. We have two eggs that we have to whip before we use them. And we have two and a half cups of milk and four tablespoons of melted butter, flour and some fresh dill and a little bit of salt. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this together, put our salt in, put our fresh dill in there, and then we're gonna mix in our milk first with the flour and that way we'll, we won't have as many lumps. So we're just gonna slowly whisk everything together and we're gonna beat the eggs before we mix them in the flour. We also have four tablespoons of melted butter. So we're gonna mix that in with the egg. And now we're gonna mix all of it together. Make sure it's well combined. Well, our crepe batter is ready, but we're gonna let it rest, let some of those bubbles come out of the uh, batter, because we don't want a lot of bubbles in it if we can help it. But I wanted to give you a little insight on the crepe pans. Now, this is a Debauer or Debauer crepe pan, and this is a Cuisinart. Forgot what kind it was. But you can see that the Debauer pan fits inside of this one. So, if you use this one, it'll take more batter to make a crepe. Uh, if you use this one, then the three ounce ladle is perfect. And this one, I'm not super crazy about it because of the lip. You have to kind of get down there and get under, which is a little bit more difficult, but it does make a larger one. This actually has a, a nice tilted lip and you can get under it nice and easy to flip it over and so I'm really not going to use this one. I'm going to go ahead and, and use this one. And so let's get started. I'm not going to measure it but it's just a dab like that. Maybe a teaspoon of grapeseed oil in the skillet. This is a carbon steel skillet. If you oil it and take care of it, it'll be one of the slickest surfaces. You'll... Okay, now we have the fire on. And I'm going to tell you there's a magic number, it's 400 degrees, and this digital thermometer, it only costs like $15, is great. So right now the skillet's at 160 degrees, and when it gets to 400, we're gonna go right in with our first crepe. Don't forget to wipe out the excess grapeseed oil with a little paper towel. Don't burn your fingers. Okay, I'll let that thing go to 428. So here we go, we're gonna make our first crepe. Just pour that in, spread it around like that, and then just let it cook. You can actually look for the edges to brown up a little bit. So I have the fire on a medium low. It just takes time, but it cooks more even when you don't overheat it. Okay. And here we go. Look how easy that was. And here it is, number one. Look how pretty. So we're gonna make about four more of these. I don't, I don't wanna overheat my skillet. 
But we're going to make about four more of these, and we'll be right back. We have a tablespoon of chopped fresh parsley, and now I'm going to finely slice up some mushrooms, some button mushrooms, but I want to make sure that I get about two cups. Okay, well, we're going to cut up our leeks. We're just going to cut the root off. We're going to go all the way up to the top of this green. If you are cooking a soup, you'll probably want to keep this. Uh, but these leaves are a little bit tough and we don't really need them anyway. We'll just put them right here. And we're going to cut the leek in half. and in half again, and we're going to rinse them real good because they're sometimes very sandy. The leeks are rinsed pretty good, so we're just going to cut them in little rings, and they'll fry up really good in the skillet. So we have another skillet, and we're going to melt two tablespoons of butter and just a touch of that grapeseed oil, about the same amount, half a tablespoon, and we're going to let that melt, and as soon as it all melts, we're going to add the leeks and the mushrooms. Okay, our butter's melted nicely. We're going to add in our mushrooms, and about a cup and a half of leeks. We're going to add in our parsley and the garlic. And we're just going to saute this down. It's going to take a few minutes. Ooh, that's looking really good. Let's throw in a dash of Lead Parents and Worcestershire sauce. About that much ought to do it. Okay, while this is cooking down, and it looks good. I'm going to add a little white wine. Yeah, maybe about a quarter cup. It's cooking down nicely. So Pam and I bought a rotisserie chicken at the supermarket. And Pam picked all the meat off the bones and cut them up in little squares. So it's about time now to go ahead and add the chicken in and we'll mix it all up. We just want to get it mixed up really good. So let me see just how this tastes right now. Mm. Mm. <laughs> We're ready. We're going to make our bechamel sauce now. I'm going to set this off to the side. And then we're going to finish off the recipe. So the mushroom and leek mixed with the chicken is done, off to the side, cooling a little bit. Now we're making the bechamel sauce. And it's really easy. So I've already got the fire on my saucepan. We're going to put in about two tablespoons of butter if I can get them off of the fork. So we're going to wait for that to melt. And then we're going to add in the flour and start making a little roux. Okay, butter's melted. Watch this. I'm going to put a little twist on you. I'm putting in a little pinch of garlic. I just want to give that butter a garlicky flavor. Now I'm going in with my flour, a couple of tablespoons. Mix that up together. Mmm, that smells good. Now we're making a bechamel sauce, but we're not making a dark roux, so we can go ahead and start adding in our milk. And we're going to add it in slow and whisk. So you know we don't want any lumps. All right, everything looks pretty well incorporated, so I'm going to add a bunch of that milk now. 
and let that heat up and it's going to thicken real nicely. So what we need to do is put in a little salt and pepper to flavor it. So here we go. Just a little pinch of pepper, half a teaspoon. Same thing with the salt. Whisk it around. It's got to have some flavor. So you salt and pepper to taste. Okay, here we go. Mmm, perfect. We're using kosher salt, so we have to make sure it's all melted nicely. And then we're going to start assembling the crepes. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Well, we've already assembled one crepe, and let me tell you, it is beautiful. So let's show you how to assemble it. We'll first take a crepe that we made and lay it across the crepe dish. Then we'll take the filling, the chicken and mushroom with the leek and onion, I mean uh, garlic, mm, it smells so good. Okay, and then we're gonna take that bechamel sauce we just made and pour that over. Look how pretty. And then we're just going to fold this over, give it a little roll, pull it back. Look at that, how pretty. Kind of get that right in the middle. And then we'll go over it with our bechamel sauce, like that. Put a little layer of our nice Swiss cheese on there. It smells so wonderful and just a few chives. And this baby's going in the oven, 350 degrees for about 20 minutes or until the cheese is melted. Everything is cooked. We just want to heat it all up and get the cheese melted. So we'll see you in about, I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. What a great, great crepe that you could make at home. It's easy. There's a few steps, but guess what? You can go ahead and make all of these uh, crepes and the filling ahead of time, keep it in the refrigerator, just warm it up. The bechamel sauce, you can make that the day of, it's easy enough. Uh, and I even used a squirt bottle in case you didn't catch that. But uh, boy, it just made everything look so pretty and it went together so easy. So it's time to do a taste test. Let me pull this baby in a little closer. That's amazing. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed our video today on uh, the chicken and mushroom crepe with the bechamel sauce. If you like our video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that already. You know, sharing our channel with your friends and your family just helps us out so much, and we really appreciate that. So go get you some chicken and mushroom crepes with some bechamel sauce. Have a great week and God bless you.